tell me who you are and what you do. Hi, my name is Megan Walleen and I'm with the Stockholm International Water Institute for six months as a Fulbright Scholar from the U.S. Oh, interesting. And what's your research about? I've been researching water regulation in the European Union with a focus on the Baltic Sea region. Okay, because I see you're standing on the Baltic Sea as we speak. I am standing on the Baltic yeah. Sea. We have a map of the Baltic Sea to show the people in the World Water Week the complexities of the Baltic Sea region. There are 14 countries in the Baltic Sea region basin. There are nine countries bordering the Baltic Sea, eight of which are members of the EU. So essentially the EU has become an inland European sea with uh, the exception of Russia. So tell me, Megan, but there's a lot of talk about pollution in the Baltic Sea. What are the biggest problems? Well, the main problem facing the Baltic is eutrophication, which is a big word for algae blooms which are caused by excess nitrates and phosphates which are um, basically the result of detergents in, and other pollutants. Um, excess phosphorus and nitrogen loading results in decreased oxygen availability in the water and increased algae blooms. So in the summertime when the Baltic is green and full of mossy substance that's the result of eutrophication and pollution. The other problem is agriculture runoff and municipal runoff. So when it rains, all of the pollutants in the city flood off of the water and off of the land and into the water. So if it's on the land, it ends up in the water. That's the main problem for the Baltic. So what would the solution be, in your point of view? Oh, well, the solution was pretty complicated, but it would mainly involve reducing the number of pollutants from marine traffic, the pollutants from land-based activities, pollutants from agriculture, and um, really focusing on water quality issues um, and improving what we put into the, into the Baltic Sea, reducing what we put into the Baltic Sea, essentially. Okay. We have the regional strategy for the Baltic Sea uh, coming up. What, what do you think about that? I think that it's a promising start. Um, if you look here, we have a presentation talking about the major points related to the EU's Baltic Sea strategy. Those are the Baltic Sea winners from the past, the people who have already done so much to contribute to the health of the Baltic. Um, but the upcoming strategy is unique in that it's the first time the EU has passed a regional strategy um, and has looked at a particular region based around an environmental resource and is um, working to pass EU directed, uh, it's not legislation, but it's a plan for linking, uh, linking the environment with the, the um, economy, transportation, and um, other sectors of society so that they're all integrated and dealt with in one piece of um, EU, uh, one EU strategy. Okay. Thank you, Megan. Could you? Tell me once again what, what your name is and what you do. My name is Megan Walleen and I'm with CV. Thank you.